Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Theodore Roosevelt Teddy Wilson, December 10, 1943, July 21, 1991, was an American stage, film, and television actor. He is best known for his recurring roles as Earl the Postman on the ABC sitcom That's My Mama and Sweet Daddy Williams on the CBS sitcom Good Times and Phil Wheeler on Sanford Arms 1977. Throughout his television and film career, Wilson was credited interchangeably with either Theodore 36 or Teddy 50 as his given name. Born in Harlem, New York City, Wilson's studied music at Florida A&M University before switching to drama. Upon returning to New York, he joined the Negro Ensemble Company and later worked with the Arena Stage Repertory. He made his acting debut in the black exploitation film Cotton Comes to Harlem in 1970. The following year, Wilson left New York City and moved to Los Angeles to further his acting career. He made his television debut in a two-episode role as Hawthorne Dolly on the television series The Walton. In 1973, Wilson was cast as the character High Strong on the CBS sitcom Rollout. The series was cancelled after 12 episodes. The following year, Wilson was cast as Earl Chambers, a postman on the sitcom That's My Mama. That series reigned for two seasons on ABC. Wilson also starred in national TV commercials for Amco in the 1970s as the character named Walter T. Wilson appeared as CW02, Martin, H. Williams, a chopper pilot and buddy of characters Trapper and Hockey in the season 3 episode of MASH titled The General Flipped at Down 1974. In September 1976, Wilson was offered and signed a contract with Tandem Productions, the production company owned by Bud Yorkin and Norman Lear, who produced some of the most popular television sitcoms of the 1970s. Wilson went on to guest star in several Yorkin Lear produced series, including All in the Family, Send Ford and Son, What's Happening, The Jeffersons, and 13 Queens, Boulevard. In 1976, Wilson was cast as Sweet Daddy Williams, a sweet hustler on the series sitcom Good Times. His character of Sweet Daddy appeared in the recurring role in August 1976 when it was announced that Wilson would star in the spin-off series of the hit sitcom Sanford and Son Carl Sanford Arms. Sanford and Son had ended in March 1977 when star Red Fox left the series. Sanford Arms was intended to be a continuation of that highly popular series. In Sanford Arms, Wilson starred as Phil Wheeler, an army veteran and widower who has portrayed the Sanford Arms, a rooming house. From his old army buddy Fred G. Sanford, the Fox character from Sanford and Son. Upon its premiere in September 1977, Sanford Arms was met with low ratings and was cancelled after four episodes. After the series was cancelled, Wilson made various TV guest appearances in episodes of The White Shadow. He also wrote a 1988 episode in Oz, Give Me a Break, The Golden Girls and What's Happening Now. In 1986, he had a role as Jim Jam on another short-lived series, The Red Fox Show. Wilson continued to work throughout the late 1980s and early 1990s, appearing in Alien Nation, Dallas Family Matters, Tales from the Crypt, Gabriel's Fire, Mama's Family and Quantum Leap. He was was also featured in several motion pictures including The Hunter 1980, Blake Edwards' A Fine Mess, That's Life, both 1986, and Mel Brooks' Live Stint 1991. Wilson made his last on-screen appearance in Blood in Blood Out, a 1993 crime drama released after his death. Wilson had three children, Theodore Jr., Robert, and Nicole. The later two children were with actress John Pringle. Wilson co-starred during the second season of the television series, That's My Mama. Pringle was named Executrix of Wilson's estate when he died in 19. On July 21, 1991, Wilson died of complications from a stroke at Siddharth Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles at the age of 47. He had undergone open heart surgery several years prior to his death. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.